What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. Today I am doing a Target haul. I actually wasn't planning on filming this video at all, but today earlier I went to Marshalls and Target and I feel like you guys are always wanting to know things that I'm buying, things that I'm liking, trying. All the stuff that I ended up getting is like just super random, like some fashion, kitchenware, homeware, regular just like refills of things that I needed. And then I also went to Marshalls and got a few fun beauty products and perfume. So if you guys wanna see everything that I ended up purchasing recently, go ahead and keep on watching. First thing I actually ended up getting in the mail today and it wasn't from Marshalls and Target, but I absolutely love this brand and it's something that I wanted to share with you guys. I ended up getting this brand new scent from Bon Parfumer Paris. I got a scent from them maybe like six months ago or so. It's much more of a winter scent. And I actually heard about this scent from another YouTuber and she said that it was awesome. So this was gifted to me from them. It's the number 402, it's an oriental and it is vanilla, caramel and centel. I think that it also said that it had notes of toffee and sandalwood in this one. I literally like to douse myself in this one, you guys. If you guys like vanilla and like toffee and those kind of scents, like sweeter oriental gourmand scents, I absolutely love this one. Like, I've been really wanting some vanilla perfumes. I will link it down below for you guys in the description box to check them out. It smells just like a really deep, sweet treat to me. I love it so much, it smells super good. The lasting power on this one is really long as well. If you guys like like aqualina pink sugar type smells, it's kind of like on the same sweet gourmandy, I don't know, kind of like dessert type scent. So good, I love it. Okay, so coming up next is everything that I ended up getting from Target. I don't have a bag because I put it all in this huge tub right here. I actually wanted to get one of these tubs because I need good storage spots in my house and I figured that under the bed isn't being utilized so I thought I would put maybe like off season stuff or um, excess just like things that I'm not wearing at the time underneath my bed so I did end up getting that big tub for that reason. I've been wanting a white purse but I ended up seeing this little guy it's almost like a I don't know, is this a fanny sack or is it a shoulder bag? It's kind of like a more sporty, athletic looking bag right here. I feel like you could maybe wear it as a fanny pack, but I'll probably wear it like over my shoulder. I kind of like a crossbody. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like this cream off-white nudie color right here. I feel like it would be really good for when I'm shopping and I want to be hands-free. Um, it was only $15 and it's from Wild Fable. So yeah, I did end up liking that. Pretty good size too. I could definitely fit my like camera in there and wallet. I don't like it when these little sporty bags are too small because I feel like I can't fit everything in there. From the like kitchen supply area, I did end up getting this Method Squirt and Mop Hardwood Floor Cleaner. I normally get the brown one that smells like almonds and it honestly smells so good. I love that one so much. But I wanted to try this one right here because it's called Spearmint and Sage. The almond one smells really good, but it smells more like a baked good in your house, which is nice, but I wanted something that smelled more like a cleaning, like I just cleaned, you know, like a clean smell. And this one smells really, really good. I like it a lot. I love these little squirt mop ones too, because literally you just like, it's just, you just squirt it out everywhere. You know what I mean? Like you just fling it all over your floor and then mop it up. And I love that. It's just a really easy like spot mop for when you're just wanting to do little touch-ups on your floor. So yeah, definitely love all of the method cleaners in general, personally. I got some of these Febreze small spaces. I ended up getting the scent uh, Wild Berries. I honestly don't know. I thought I would maybe put these in my car. I know they have specific car ones, but I figured for the same price, I might as well get the one that's bigger. Like the car ones come with the same amount, but they're tiny, so I got these. I think you can also use them like in your bathroom or anywhere that's just a small little spot. So I fi figured I'd put one in my car and one in my guest bathroom. And the wild berries smells really good. I did end up getting a few like kitcheny type gadgets. We've been really needing a new like meat thermometer. I do a lot of barbecuing and so 
I feel like we're always losing our meat thermometer. So I just got this one. I've never gotten one of the instant read ones, but it was only a few dollars more. And I figured it's like so much more convenient to get the instant read versus the regular one. So just got that little guy. For summer cooking in general and barbecuing, I did get some of these little plastic platters. They're only like $3 at Target. And we've had some other ones for quite a while and they last pretty well and hold up. So I just got two of these little dishes to put like the barbecued meat on or like whatever i'm carrying in and out from outside little trays i did end up getting two of the bowls too everett likes a big salad bowl especially when you do chicken salads and we do a lot of chicken salads in the summertime so i figured i'd just get two more of these ones because they're a pretty good size i feel like you can really like get your dressing in there and like mix it all around without it flying out of these like larger bowls so i got two of those and then i did end up getting some of the little like sauce bowls just to put ranch and different sauces, dipping sauces inside. And then all of this stuff is kind of bathroomy stuff. I did end up just grabbing this little like handheld bathroom mirror right here. It's just a small one. I actually thought that I would maybe bring this with me on my trip or when I am going camping in my camping travel trailer, I need a little mirror to do my makeup in. And I just thought it was a really good size and easy to pack up because it's pretty compact and plastic. So it's not like it's like heavy or gonna break in my suitcase or on my travel trailer so I ended up getting this guy because it was only five dollars and pretty good size I just got some little shaving cream right here it's cherry blossom sandalwood and rose water scent I was actually checking out all of the like body washes too I've heard the OGX body washes are really nice and then I saw some like Olay ones that look really yummy so hopefully this smells good I didn't get any body washes though I just stuck with what I needed, needed. <laughs> toothpaste, we ran out of toothpaste and I got the Optic White Stain Fighter. I forget which one I really, really liked. I got a toothpaste and I felt like it really helped whiten my teeth. Let me know down below like the one that you think that whitens your teeth the best. Um, I also just do like a little teeth whitener, you know, once every few weeks. I know that the Mix Bar perfumes at Target are really popular, um, but I've also heard really good things about the Soli Notes perfumes as well and I think that the whole thing behind Soli Notes is it's like it's it's only one scent like you know normal perfumes have like a blend of scents together and the Soli Notes are kind of like just one scent targeted I'm pretty sure that's oh yeah okay so here it says each fragrance is designed around a keynote created with passion to deliver a unique scent I couldn't smell the vanilla because the vanilla sample had been stolen you guys know how that is. And um, I heard really good things about the white tea scent. And so I really wanted to try that one out too. Here's the little bottle right here. I'm pretty sure that these are 18 or $20 each. I think that they're $20 each. I'm just gonna spray it in here. I feel like it does smell a bit warm, like a warm vanilla. It kind of reminds me of warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works. But it's good, I like it. Just a really easy scent, I feel like, and yeah, I'm not bummed on that one. This is the Soli Notes White Tea, and I've heard great things about this. I feel like tea has been really popular this year as far as fragrances go. I just, I really like this packaging for it being a cheap perfume. I feel like it's very nice. Oh, this one smells so good. Oh, I love this so much. This is definitely like an everyday kind of scent. I don't feel like it'd be very offensive. Like, I feel like this is a crowd pleaser. It's something that everyone would like. It does just smell like a nice tea shop, I would say. Love this one so much. I think I, out of the two of these, I would say I like the tea one more than the vanilla, which is very surprising to me because I'm such a sweet vanilla girl. If you needed to give someone like a gift or something, this would be really, really good to give, I feel like, anyone. At least smell this one when you're in Target next time and let me know what you guys think. Okay, and then what I ended up getting from Marshalls, I got this little CoverGirl um, powder right here. It's not my face color. It's much darker, um, but I actually like to use face powders as bronzers, especially when it was only $2 on sale, you guys. Just because a product is marketed towards one thing, you can always use it as something else. Like sometimes I use eyeshadows as blushes. Like if a pink eyeshadow, I'll use it as a blush. Or you could use this as 
a bronzer or you could use a darker colored of a concealer as a cream bronzer i use really like the darker deeper shades in foundations and in concealers as cream bronzers all the time and so yeah i ended up getting that as a bronzer in the past i had found a pure trolls world tour eyeshadow palette and i was really impressed with it these are going for only five dollars at marshall's and i was very excited to find another one of them and the color scheme of this one is a little bit more warm the last one i got was like silver metallic -y, like fun shimmery cool tones and this one is the exact opposite it is browns it is browns and kind of like golds i've obviously already touched it <laughs> i swatched it this is such a steal for five dollars like definitely get your hands on this one if you see it at marshall's and you love eyeshadows especially neutral shadows stunning they are like liquid gold so pretty i love them so much great performance for five dollars definitely recommend picking these guys up if you like these color schemes i have been seeing some laura mercier products at my local marshall's which was exciting i love laura mercier and they are in a more expensive brand so if i can find them for a more affordable price i'm always excited this is called the matte radiance baked powder and it's in the color highlight one there's the compact right there so it's like a baked highlight it is so confusing to me because it is called the matte powder and there's nothing matte about this powder i mean it's a powder that's the only thing matte about it but other than that it is a like subtle highlight shade i would say that this would be good for a bride maybe that wants that like glowy kind of look for her wedding day or just like a subtle highlight not like what i have on right now you want something that's just a little bit like lighter and more natural looking beautiful absolutely love this but i will say that this gives me the exact same result as my wet n wild highlighter that i love so much it's called a bronzer but it's a highlighter and it i think it's like three to six dollars i'll put a photo on the screen right here of it i literally have backups of it because i heard one time that it was possibly getting discontinued so i bought a bunch of them because i loved them so much when i did bridal makeup i used it on brides all the time i used that on my clients that would be getting their photography done with a professional photographer it just gave you such a beautiful color to your skin so even though that this was laura mercier and it was on sale at marshall's and it was cheaper at marshall's at 13 dollars i would honestly not repurchase this even though it's a beautiful product I can get the same effect with the wet and wild one so all right you guys i think that is everything that i ended up purchasing today i almost bought a dyson vacuum you guys and at the last second i almost was like no 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 you're gonna have buyer's remorse and so i pulled out and i didn't get the vacuum but i was thinking about it let me know down below is a dyson vacuum worth it i want the cordless one i have a cordless like dupe off of amazon that was a hundred dollars and i feel like it works pretty well but I know that those Dyson cordless ones are just like so convenient and yeah. So anyways, sorry, I just saw this fragrance again. I want to spray it again. Mmm, <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys like these like super casual things where I'm buying toothpaste and shaving gel and kitchen stuff and meat thermometers. Let me know if this is interesting to you or if you just want me to skip on these types of videos. I love you guys so, so much. Let me know down below. Maybe something recently that you've purchased that you recommend that I try or check out. I'm always interested in stuff like that. All right, you guys. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.